Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in On One No Noise AI, the brand new, honestly, world class, amazing noise reduction product from our friends at On One that make Photo Raw and other products. So, what I'm going to talk about today is what I think is the key differentiator from between No Noise AI and the other products that are uh, Denoise technology, which would namely be Topaz Denoise and DxO Pure Raw both of which I think are great products. All three of these I think are great products as I talked about in that video. However, the thing that makes On One different, unique, and really stand out is that it has layers built into it and you can use the layers in No Noise AI to customize the amount of noise reduction that, go, uh, that goes into certain parts of your photo because it has layers. You can add duplicate layers, mask in specific and controlled and precise noise reduction, and then you know, to certain parts of the photo and then go to a different part of the photo and do the same thing. I'm gonna demo that today. Let's get going. Now, this is a photo I used in the previous videos. I'm sorry if you're sick of seeing it. I'm kind of sick of looking at it, to be honest. However, it's a really great example of how I would use this technology to make my image look the way I want my image to look, which is really what editing, I think, is all about. So, on the right-hand side, you have a section here where all your sliders are, as you know, if you've either got the product or seen my other demos. Um, the thing is, when you open a photo, it'll default to your preferences, and what you want to do is first zero everything out. So I'm basically taking everything away so that the before and after this split screen is no different. Everything is completely the same. And you see this apply button? I'm going to go ahead and click apply, and what that's going to do is lock that layer. That's the base layer. So what that does, it gives me the option to get into this right here. And if I hover for a second, you will see that says duplicate layer. I'm going to click on that. It will take the raw file. And this is a Sony raw file, .arw, raw file format for Sony cameras. And I've now got a new layer here. And what I want to do is adjust that layer. So I'm going to click adjust to open that up. And what I want to do here is, um, and the reason why this photo I think is a good example is, I want to go as smooth as possible in the sky and the water because that's the, just the way I like it. And so, again, season to taste, do whatever you like with your photos, but I just really like really smooth skies and really smooth water. So what I want to do is take luminance all the way to 100 and color all the way to 100, and I get this amazing smoothing going on. However, it's applying globally. It's applying everywhere in the photo, and I don't want that. I don't need that much noise reduction in the areas here where things are a bit darker. So this is where you get into the masking and the layers. Uh, so I've got this new layer. I want to mask this in. So I'm going to go ahead and click Apply. And once you do that, you have the ability to get on to the masking option. So one click there, and you get into masking. And what I want to do is take advantage of AI Quick Mask, which is the amazing masking technology. And actually, first thing I want to do is hit Fit so I can back out. And what I want to do is you can either keep or drop. And that's the beauty thing about this AI Quick Mask. So what I want to do is keep, which is, if you recall, I'm at 100 on luminance uh, noise reduction and color noise reduction. So I want to keep that, and I want to keep that in the sky, which I'm just going to mark with green. So green is go or keep, and water as well also keep. And then you come up here to drop, and you just do the opposite, which is for drop, I want to drop all the land areas, and I want to drop the, uh, the land area over here, and I might l shrink my mouse a little bit just so that I can kind of connect these and let on one know that all of that stuff needs to not have this edit applied because it's full bore 100 and 100 on color and luminance noise reduction. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply, see what AI Quick Mask does for me in terms of making a mask, and it's already done just while the, uh, I'm sitting here talking, and honestly, it's perfect. I mean, that's what's so great about um, On One is the masking and the layers. It's just super powerful. So green is a go, red is not a go. I'm going to hit done, which means my mask is in place. I'm ready to party. And what I've done, let me close masking menu. And you can see I've now applied, let me zoom in, in fact. Let me go to, uh, let me zoom, let me hit 100. That ought to give you a good idea. And what I've done is I've applied all that noise reduction to the sky and water and nothing to the landmass. It's still got the noise in it. Well, you know, I, I kind of want to take some noise out of that. I just didn't want to take as much. So what I need is another layer. So I'm, I'm locked. I'm, I'm in the red here, which means that layer is locked. It means I can duplicate this layer. So I'm going to duplicate this layer again. And the reason why um, 
this works so well is because I've already got the mask in place. So I'm going to hit duplicate layer. I've got a new layer, same mask. Well, that's easy enough to change. What I want to do is just invert it because of the power of AI quick mask. That mask is already in place. I just have to swap it. So now if I view the mask, the white, remember, white reveals, black conceals. So on the previous layer, I'm going to flip back. Uh, oops. Um, in the previous layer, it looked like this. White was in the sky and the water. That's where all the noise reduction went. I just made a copy of that layer and flipped the mask with one, you know, a couple of clicks. And now I've got a mask where the white here is going to reveal my edits just in the land mass and conceal my edits in the sky and the water. So in other words, it's perfect. AI quick mask, freaking amazing. And just duplicate layer, invert it. Um, in this case, you might need to do customization and you can use other brushes to do that if you want to. But as far as uh, this demo goes, I've now got my mask in place and it looks uh, fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna close the masking menu and I'm gonna click adjust so that I can now come in and I, it's, it's defaulting to where I had it. So what I wanna do is give that a second to render. It has rendered. I'm gonna pull that back a little bit and one of the things I want to do is enhance the detail and the sharpness uh, amount and the detail down here. And so basically, I just want to apply some of that progressive sharpening to the uh, basically the landmass, right? Which includes man-made structures, houses in this case. And so let me zoom in a little further. Maybe you can see that better. Uh, let me go to 200. There we go, 200. And let me come over here and just scroll down and so now you can see on the left hand side these houses noisier than the ones on the right so let me just drag this back and forth and you can see the fantastic noise reduction has adjusted that but there's no difference in the water or the sky because it's not being impacted because i excluded that from the mask on this layer so once again incredibly powerful just so much control and that allows you to be specific and precise about noise reduction which you can't do in those other products now you could use photoshop and multiple layers and mask with photoshop and those other products to get the same kind of thing but that's the beauty of on one it's built in it's got layers it's got you know frankly layers which are so powerful and then it's got world-class uh, masking like this ai quick mask that allowed me to select the area hit done and literally move on so I've now targeted these areas with a little bit of sharpening and detail in the land mass, which I did not want in sky or water, um, and a little bit less noise reduction. I put it at 81, I guess, which is fine, right? It's really just an example. But that's how you're able to take advantage of the power of layers and masking in on one no noise AI and get that incredible noise reduction technology specifically where you want it in the photo and really get the photo that you want. So I'm gonna go back to fit screen. I've now got a beautifully smooth sky, beautifully smooth water in terms of not having any noise and yet noise reduced in the land mass with a little bit of sharpening and detail added back. So I've now got what I consider a fantastic photo and from here you can do other things like you might want to merge all these layers and then export or create a new stamp layer if you wanted to do something else. I'll just do that for the heck of it but that's how it works. Layers, masking, in on one, no noise so you can customize and be very specific and targeted about where noise reduction is going in your photos. That's an amazing thing my friends. I love it. That's why I'm so fired up about on one no noise AI. I think it's awesome. That's it. I just wanted to show how it works because I figured I'm going to get some questions and I hinted at that in a couple of my other videos about it that you can do this. That's how you do it. Hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching. If you decide to get on one no noise AI, there's a link down below. It is an affiliate link. It helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything um, extra. And in fact, it saves you money because I have a coupon code gym next that you can use that'll save you a few bucks as well but they pay me a small commission if you purchase off my link and if not that's fine too enjoy the video hope it gives you some tips tricks hints about how to use it thanks for watching my friends i'll catch you real soon you guys take care i'll see you later and adios